In this video, we're going to learn how to reverse the words in a string using Python. So for example, if we have a string like this, a string comma with several words, what we want to do is reverse each individual word in the string. So for example, the new string would look like this. We would have a space, then g n i r t s comma space, then h t i w, and then so on for the rest of the words in the string. To solve this problem, we'll create a function. We'll call the function reverse words. The function is going to be passed the string as an argument, so we'll have text as the parameter name, and the function is going to return the string with the words reversed. We'll call the function reverse words, and we'll pass it our example string. We'll take the string it's going to return and store it into the variable called reversed. Then we'll output reversed. Now to solve this problem, we're going to build the new string with the words reversed by going through the existing string one character at a time. We'll call the new string reversed words text. And we'll begin that string off as the empty string. And then we'll go through this string one character at a time. So we'll have a for loop with four character in text. And this for loop body is going to run for each character in this string here. And each time it does, character is going to be set to the next character in the string. Now to build the new reverse words text string, we're going to concatenate portions of this string to reverse words text as we read through this string one character at a time. If we just have a character like this, we can just concatenate it to reverse words text. But when we're reading a word, what we want to do is reverse the word as we read the word one character at a time. Then take that reversed word and concatenate that to reverse words text. So we'll use a couple new variables to help us. We'll declare a variable called reading word, which is going to keep track of whether we're currently reading a word. And we'll set that to false initially, because initially we're not sure if we're reading a word or not. We'll also create a variable called current word. Current word is going to store the current word that we're reading, but reversed. We'll store the empty string there initially. Now, as we go through the string, it's going to be important to detect when we go from not reading a word to reading a word like this, like going from this space here to this first character of this new word here. To do this, we'll check to see if reading word is currently false, because if reading word is false, that tells us that we haven't been currently reading a word. We'll also check to see if the character that we're currently reading is alphabetic because that would tell us that we have the beginning of a new word. So we'll have here, if character dot is alpha is true. So the is alpha method is a string method, which is going to return true if the character we're currently reading is an alphabetic character, like a character from A to Z. Otherwise, it's going to return false. And then we'll have and not reading word. So this if statement condition is going to be true if the character that we're currently reading is alphabetic, but we haven't been reading a word. So this tells us we have the beginning of a new word. In that case, we'll set reading word equal to true because now we are currently reading a word and the goal is to build the reversed version of this word using current word. So we'll store into current word this character. We'll have current word is equal to this character because that's the only character we've read from the word. Then we'll also need to detect the case that we're reading the next character of the word that we're currently reversing. So in that case, reading word is going to be true because we are currently reading a word and character dot is alpha is going to be true because the character is going to be alphabetic. So we'll have here else if character dot is alpha is true and reading word is true. In this case, we found the next character of the word that we're currently reading, and we'll continue to reverse that word. We'll have here current word is equal to, and then character plus current word. So here, what we're doing is concatenating the reversed word so far onto the additional next character in that word. By putting that next character first, that will have the effect of reversing the word. So for example, with this word here string, when we first read S, we're going to set current word equal to s. So we'll have current word is equal to s. Then when we encounter t, we're going to put t at the front of current word. So we'll have t then s. Then when we encounter r, we'll put r at the front of the current word. So we'll have rts and so on. 
Now, the next thing we need to detect is when we go from reading a word to not reading a word. Like, for example, when we go from reading this G character here to reading this comma, or reading this H character here to reading this space. So we'll have another condition here. We're going to know that we go from reading a word to not reading a word if we currently are reading a word and if the character that we're currently reading is not alphabetic, like this comma or this space. So we'll have another condition here. We'll have else if not character dot is alpha for the case the character is not alphabetic and that we're reading a word. In this case, this means we've gone from reading a word to now not reading a word because the next character is not alphabetic. At this point, we can set reading word equal to false because we are no longer reading a word. Then we'll take the word that we're building up so far in reverse and we'll concatenate it to the reversed words text string. So we'll have reversed words text is equal to and we'll concatenate to this string our reversed word. So at this point, we'll take this word that we've been reversing and we'll concatenate it to our new string. Then we'll set current word equal to the empty string because we're no longer reading in a new word. And we'll take this character that we've just read in, whether it's a comma or a space or whatever, and we'll concatenate that to reversed words text. So we'll have reversed words text, and then we'll concatenate the character with plus equals character. So this else if block here is going to do a lot of the work of actually building the reversed words text string, because it's at this point here where we take the reversed word and concatenate that word to the reversed words text string. It's also where we take the first character after that word and concatenate it to the reversed words text string as well. We will have situations like this space character here, where at this point, we're not going to be currently reading a word because before this character, we had the comma character. At the same time, this character also needs to be concatenated to the string. We'll have an else case to handle this situation where we're not currently reading a word, but the character is also not alphabetic, which would indicate the start of a new word. So we'll have else reversed words text and then plus equals character to just take the character and concatenate it to the reversed words text string. Now, if the last character in the string is a non-alphabetic character, it's going to work out nice because we'll concatenate that non-alphabetic character to the string and then we're done. But it's possible the string doesn't end with a non-alphabetic character. It could be that the string ends like this with words here. In that case, this code is not going to run because we'll never detect the end of this word because we're relying on that first non-alphabetic character after the word to detect the end of the word. So we'll check for that case here after the for loop is done. So we'll have if current word, where the way it works in Python is if current word is the empty string, then this condition is going to evaluate to false. But if current word is not the empty string, then this condition is going to evaluate to true. And only in that case are we going to take this reversed last word in the string and concatenate it onto the end of reversed words text with reverse words text and then plus equals current word. Then when all this is done, we can just return the reversed words text string. And remember down here, we're calling the function and outputting the string that's returned by the function. So we'll save this and try a program out. And if we run it, we'll get our string with the words reversed. So this is how we can reverse the words in a string using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.